Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube land, it's your boy Tuglo, and today I want to bring to y'all something that is going to be a little bit different, a little bit out of the ordinary, but this is definitely something that I've seen floating around the internet, and this is something that I am kind of excited to do, and I feel like I'm going to make a lot of enemies, so let's go ahead and jump into this. So first off, what we have here is we are in the index and I'm going to have six videos in this series, one covering the ARs, machine guns, shotgun, rifles, SMGs, and the handguns. Now, uh, the way that this is going to work is, per video, I'm just going to base everything solely off of the picture that I see right here. This will not include any skins, this will not include any mods, and this will not include any type of damage art. Now, what we have here is we are going to be doing a little tier list for the waifus of GFL, and we're going to base it off of every single uh, class or category, so we're going to start today with the assault rifles. This is going to be based on overall attractiveness, so that way we can include sexy, cute, you know, every little aspect, and not just say, well, here's a tier list for cute, here's a tier list for sexy, here's a tier list for this, here's a tier list for that, here's a tier for all of these things okay and the way that this is going to work is we're going to have the ultimate waifu and only one girl from every category is going to be able to take that then we're going to have the s tier class and that's going to be waifus that are a class above the rest the a tier waifus are going to be great but they're missing that extra oomph the b tier waifus are going to be above average the c tier waifus are going to be average waifus the d tier waifus are going to be below average and the f tier waifus are going to be those that are they even waifus let's be real here okay so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into this so uh i'm gonna start with the f tier waifus and get them out of the way and we're gonna work our way upwards so starting with f tier the you know in no particular order uh, all i did was i just went through and i just started putting people in a list going left to right and from uh top to bottom on this so uh the first one that is going to be an f tier for me is going to be 56-1 now she's got some skins that are fantastic but this skin right here there's not really, you know, there's not too too much attention to detail. I'm not a really huge fan of it. I mean, you know, she looks good, but I mean, you know, uh, for me, it's like, I don't know, man. It's just one of them things that eh, it's okay. It's okay. She is going to be the highest of the F tier, you know, just barely not making it into the D tier. But that is just for me personally. She could easily, easily be in the D tier. But, you know, I had to put her down here. Next, we're going to have Sig 510. Now, for me, I mean, yeah, her hair looks great, but I mean, the, the eyes, man, the eyes, the overall, just everything, just kind of, kind of eh. It's kind of eh for me. It, I just say I'm not about it. I'm not feeling it too much. Uh, the next person that we have is going to be Type 63. Now, she actually has a skin uh, that makes her look really good. But based off of this skin, you know, I I'm going to tell you this, at least, you know, there there feels like there's more color, there's more life to this skin compared to 56.1. But I mean, I mean, it's too close. It it's too close to a lolly for me. I'm not about it. I'm not about it. And then uh, the last person that we have is going to be XM8. Just not a fan of it. You know, I ain't got no words to say. It, it just be like that. XM8, sorry. You know, budget sop mod, a, it'd be like that. So moving on, we're going to go into our D tier waifus. And these are going to be the ones that are below average. The first one is going to be STG44. This is someone who is cute, but is below average for me. Uh, I'm sure that her mod three would easily change my mind. Uh, but yeah, she's one of the girls that, you know, she's, she's up there, but she just barely didn't make it uh, into the C tier category. The next person that we're going to be looking at is G3. Now, let me tell you, I've seen the skins. I've seen the mod. She is easily at least B tier. Based on the way that we are classifying, uh, you know, this tier list, this skin right here, for me, got to be in the D tier. Got to be in the D tier. I mean, beautiful, gorgeous, but at the end of the day, you know, it... it Sorry, I've got way too many others that stack up better than you, in my opinion. The next one is going to be ARX 
160. Like the curly hair, but everything else is just meh. A little too close to Lolly for me, but a hey, the uh, Rio, the little the little area right here. I, I don't I don't remember the 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 Japanese word for it, but there's some type of Japanese word that talks about that right there. A hey, hallelujah, hallelujah. But again, like I said, there are definitely a lot more waifus out there that are just up tiers above without a doubt. Uh, the next one, oh, I actually passed up, is going to be a Galil. Uh, she just is, she's like, I don't know, man. Like, you know, there, there, there could be days where maybe she's in C tier. But I mean, right now it's just, it just looks very bland and that's just for me uh moving on we do have 6p62 now some of y'all might be like well tug there's a lot of blue there blah 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 and i'm like yeah but i don't know what's going on back here like i don't know and so i'm just gonna have to i'm gonna have to pass on that i'm don't worry, I ain't too worried about the contraptions. Now, the next one, now this is where I'm probably gonna make first little bit of enemies. A-R-T, go ahead and get into the, into the D tier waifu. Definitely not my style, not my taste, uh, but for those who have her on your tier list that are relatively high, a more power to you, man. I'm gonna move on. And the last person is going to be T91. Uh, uh, again, it feels like the 56-1, you know, that's why, you know, 56-1 is here. And then, like, T91 is, like, right here. I mean, you know, it, it'd be like that. I mean, you know, a hey, what can I say? So, moving on to the C-tier waifus. Now, this is going to be the average waifus. Now, like I said, y'all better remember the classifications. This covers all bases. This is my own opinion, all right? And we're gonna make a lot of enemies today. But, but, for me, starting off the C tier, you know, and this is just the order of, you know, going left to right, top to bottom. The first one that sticks out into my mind being average Sop Mod. Go ahead. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for the flame in the comments because I know Sop Mod is, you know, so many people, you know, can put her, you know, ultimate or s tier or a tier yeah she she's like almost b tier but yeah sorry no can do so sop is gonna be the first one that's gonna be there for me uh the second one is going to be ak47 um eh, she's cute average yeah you know, you know by all means uh, the next one that is going to be in the c tier is going to be g41 now g41 to me a little bit better than uh, ART by all means, but, uh, you know, I got no comments. Uh, then, uh, the next one that we are going to have here is going to be Tar. Uh, like it's, dude, beautiful, you know, you know, your boy likes the color blue, but there's just something about it that I feel like there are going to be other waifus that are better than Tar. The next one we have is going to be F2K. Now, I can't remember if F2K gets a mod or if she has a skin, but I have a feeling that she pops off later on. Uh, she definitely could easily be a B tier by all means, you know, above average. But uh, just just based off of this right here, you know, a strong C tier by all means. Strong, strong C tier by all means. Uh, the next one that we're going to be looking at is going to be CZ805. Now, you know, I was thinking about being biased and putting her at least in the B tier. But I'm trying not to be biased by any means and just, you know, kind of be like, eh, you know. Uh, one thing that I don't like, and this is even for uh, true for PKP, uh, on her, on PKP's default skin. I don't like the little, like, I, I, I guess it's like a, a, a neck like the thing around her neck right there it's like covering it and same for pkp it like covers like this much of her like neck and her face i'm not a big fan of that i don't know why but um you know everything else you know if this thing was not here by all means this is easily like a tier but this thing i'm just not a huge fan of it but everything else 
is fantastic on this character. Uh, going on, uh, this one, again, like I said, next in line. I'm prepared for it. Type 97. Get him out of here. I'm not a huge fan of Type 97. You know, she's cute. She's, you know, Sundere. She's whatever you want to say about her. But based off of this art here, uh, this is like the only thing that she's got going for her for me. Everything else, I'm going to have to pass on. I'm going to have to pass on. She reminds me a lot of Rin, especially because she's got the, uh, the red... Uh, you know, she's kind of got a lot of red on her. You know, Rin uh, Tosaka has red as well. Oh, uh, you know, got the twin tails. But the, I, I think from what I know, she might be a Sundere uh, Type 97. But I'm going to just have to pass, man. I'm going to just have to pass. And last but not least, Average Tier Waifu is definitely going to be uh, Ribby for me. Um, I've got no words to say. Just C tier. Moving on, we are going into the B tier category. Uh, and, you know, I'm probably going to get, you know, a little bit of a little sum sum here and there. But, you know, it be like that. Uh, so, moving forward, uh, for B tier that is above average. This, I feel like, is going to be the main talk, if I were to take a guess. But, starting off, I'm going to have M16. Uh m16 just i mean just based off of the story you know things of that nature and then just the overall skin right here i can get down with it i can get down with m16 you know it's straight she's cool uh definitely uh a favorite you know there there may be a little bit of bias but at the end of the day uh you know i think m16 for me tops uh sop mod and i mean i am using m16's uh anniversary icon so that might tell you something the next character that is going to be in the B tier for me is going to be L85A1. Now, when I was first playing this game, uh, when I first started, um, I actually would refer to this character as uh, Violet Evergarden. And very quickly, I recognized that there was somebody else who looks like Violet Evergarden compared to L85A1. But L85A1, her design's really pretty. Uh, I like the roses. You know, I think she's just really pretty. And so I think that she's definitely going to be a B tier for me. Uh, the next one is going to be FNC, dude. The chocolate bar. The chocolate bar. Reign supreme for this. FNC is definitely going to be a B tier for me. The next person that we have is going to be OTS12, whether it be the variety of, you know, the colors in her outfit, the pose, the the whatever it may be, I think looks good. And so she, the, you know, this gets her spot on the B tier list for me. Now, last but not least for B tier, I do not have this character. And so I'm going to have to use the wiki picture from uh, the GF wiki. And that is going to be Ash, uh, let me see, Ash 12.7. She was from Cube, and as far as Cube is concerned, you know, I didn't farm anything there. So Ash, in my opinion, is definitely going to be a B-tier waifu. I've got nothing else to say, and I'm um, going to take that down very, very quickly. Now, the next one, I think this is where a lot of the waifus ended up here for me. And this is, oh, excuse me. We're going to go ahead and scroll back up and we're going to get started. So A tier is going to be waifus that are great, but they're missing that, that little extra bit of oomph to push them over into the S class. Now, again, prepared. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? AR-15. Boy, I'm telling you, I picked apart the the anti-rain squad i picked them apart boy i tell you i know i'm gonna have some people oh stop my ultimate oh no ar-15's ultimate oh no blah 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 but by all means for me personally ar-15 is definitely very very high a tier um just barely missing out for the s tier uh now like i said whether it be and i'm gonna be real with you I got her, I have her, her skin. I actually prefer her default skin over this skin right here. 
And so, you know, I mean, it'd be like that, man. It, it, it really do. It really do be like that. She is going to be the top A tier for me. Now, this next character, by all means, I've seen the mod 3, is easily an S tier. And you know, if I if I put in the biases, she would be S tier. But I can't do that. I can't do that. So A tier, A S Val. <sighs> is it too late to go back? Because I'm, no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. No, you gonna say it. You gonna say it. A tier. Oh, it's a difficult choice, but. Uh, A.S. Val is definitely, uh, she's just missing a little extra oomph, but if you haven't seen her mod 3 art, we, we doing it up, we doing it up. Uh, looking to our next character is going to be G36. Now, uh, don't get me wrong by all means, I've got a, I've got every one of her skins so far, but G36 is at very least A tier for me. She's easily an S tier and above in some of her other skins, but g36 just got a very solid spot here uh the next character that i have on the a tier is going to be f a l now f a l uh she has you know a, a special place in my heart uh, she was my first character that i oathed in g f l i mean if we look at the if we take a look at the statistics that Micah posted for their uh, first year anniversary, I believe FAL was the most oathed T doll, and I, you know, I would like to assume that one of those reasons why is because uh, you could get it for ninety nine cents. Uh, but hey, you know, at the end of the day, when I first started the game, she had blue, she had blue, and they were pretty big. So you know, hey, I'm gonna say worth. I'm gonna call it a day. That's the you know A tier at the very least for FAL. The next one is going to be G11. I had to give you a little suspense there. Uh, it's going to be a G11. I think uh, personally, just gotta I gotta give I gotta pay respects. G11's carried me so much. Uh, you know the the sleepiness. Let me tell you something. These days I'm always tired, and so you know I I, I feel that. I feel that on a spiritual level, so I'm feeling G11 at at least an A tier at the very least. The next one in the A tier is going to be AR70. Now, AR70, she does have a little bit of a Monogatari-esque type of look to her, uh, whether it be the coloring or the art uh, in which she was drawn. Uh, definitely at least um, A tier for me, just because... It just reminds me so much of the Monogatari series. If you haven't seen it, by all means, please check it out. It's a fantastic, fantastic series. Uh, the next person that is on the A tier, it's going to be RFB. Now, let me tell you. Well, okay, well, I'm not going to tell you that because that would be a spoiler for something else. But if RFB was a blue color, blue theme color, you know, there there are jokes that RFB is the the green Suomi, or that Suomi is the the blue RFB, whatever you want to say. If RFB was blue colored, bro, I'm telling you, would literally be like A tier, or excuse me, would be literally be S tier without a doubt. But at the very least, RFB's got to be at least an A tier for me personally. Uh, now, uh, moving on to our next unit we do have zazz to me the, the like super 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 short uh cut while she does pull it off very well i it's, it's just not it's uh, it's not my favorite thing but you know a i gotta shout out zazz you know very cute looks good very stylish so you know you are definitely going to be a tier for me last but not least is going to be m d r and i do not have her so you're just gonna have to deal with a picture of mdr right here definitely i mean you know she's a memer she's whatever but at the end of the day uh you know i really thought about putting her a little bit lower just because like of this little like thing right here again but at the end of the day you know very stylish very cool whatever you want to say mdr definitely at the very least is going to be a tier for me now, moving 
forward. We've only got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six dolls left. We've got six dolls left. And starting off our S tier waifus. These are the waifus that are a class above the rest. The first one we have is going to be M4, oh, M4A1. Now, M4A1, dude, uh, there was just something about her, you know, as, uh, as soon as I got her, I like, I was just like intrigued. I was interested. I was, it, it was just one of those things that I was like, hmm, like, she's just got that type, that, that factor. And I'm just like, man, you know, I'm, I, speechless, speechless. And so this was actually the second T doll that I oathed was M4A1. And notice it's actually pretty insane, just as a side note, there is no blue on here whatsoever. I just had to point that out. Uh, going on to our next doll for the S class, 416. Man, I don't know what it is. Some about 416, man. I don't know. They, like I said, a tier is they don't have that oomph. S tier, they got that oomph. And I don't know what to say about it. So, 416, by all means. You up there. Yes. The next one. We've only got a few left. We've only got a few left. The next one is gonna be... Og. Og, let me tell you, is, dude, gorgeous. Without a doubt. The dress, the flowers, the hair, the look, the... the what what can, what else can I say? What else can I say? Og by all means is S tier. Hundred percent, hundred percent. The next one. Now let me say this. We're going into the last three. Okay, and the last three are actually on this page right here. Nine uh, A, ninety five, and Groza. Now. <sighs> Let me, let me just go ahead and get this one out the way. Y'all, th this may surprise you, but type 95, you are A tier for, or excuse me, you are S tier. Ooh, excuse me. Type 95, you are S tier for me. I ain't even got to say anything else. Y'all, y'all got eyes. Y'all can look, y'all can see. I'm going to move on, but type 95, you are S tier for me now. It comes down to 9A91 and OTS14, the princess and the queen of night, respectively. Now, let me just show you what we're dealing with. We got 9A91. We got 9A91. Okay, now, of course, this is the uncensored version of the game. So she does have this little, like, silhouette lingerie type thing. And then we do have Groza. Okay, now, let me tell y'all something. It, this was probably the hardest decision for me but at the end of the day my s tier pick is going to be da 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 9891 now let me tell you something uh 9891 is literally like if this is ultimate waifu for ARs 9891 is like right here and this is, of course, based off of what we have on the Ian server right now. Um, 9A91, man. I love the death. Definitely going to be oathing her soon. Um, but 9A91, man, I just don't know. I shouldn't have done that because now I want to put her at, at, at ultimate. But 9A91, based off of this skin, I've got no words to say. She is just S tier if I've ever seen S tier before. Um, blue, the silhouette, just the look overall, just very, very, very cute. But the final one is going to be Groza, as we already know. The ultimate waifu for the ARs that is out on the EN server as of this recording is going to be OTS14, a.k.a. Groza. Now, Groza actually was in a competition for the number one waifu spot for me. But, you know, when her Alive 2D came out, dude, she, she ran like a mile ahead. But the, you know... There wasn't no blue on it, man. And then so somebody else took it. And I mean, it's pretty obvious who, who took it. But 
Groza on this skin for ARs 100% reminds me of Monogatari. She should be somebody that is in that series. I promise you uh, the Monogatari series is probably my second favorite series of all time. Um, it is it dude. It's neck and neck with SAO for me personally. So Groza by all means is going to take that spot dude at any given day 9891 could take the ultimate at any given day Groza could take the ultimate and it'd be flipping flopping between those two but at the end of the day I had to go and put it down like this you feel me so I know I'm gonna have a lot of disagreements y'all tell me what y'all think. Do you agree with my list? Do you disagree with my list? Where do you think some of these dolls should be placed in uh, different orders? Do you think, you know, Satmod should have been A tier or S tier? Do you think, you know, I put M4A1 too high? Let me know what y'all think down in the comment sections below. Don't forget, this is my own opinion. And I already told y'all the business in the beginning of how I decided to do this list. That's all I got for this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I do stream at twitch.tv slash tuglo at the times that you can see underneath the webcam. Also, if you do want to see more GFL content like this, I'm going to be doing the rest of the other five categories for the waifu tier list. Definitely subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. Last but not least, if you do have Amazon Prime and you'd like to support your boy monetarily for free, you can subscribe to any Twitch streamer with your Amazon Prime and you know, you can help them out monetarily, support them monetarily for free with your Amazon Prime. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really do appreciate the support a lot. Y'all have a good one. And like I said, let me know if you agree or disagree. And I will see y'all in the next video. Much love, God bless, and peace out.